you didn't see yesterday's video, we got new leather interior. Now hopefully this truck starts up okay. And no, not because it's a 7.3, but because the battery was killed when it was left at the interior shop just because the doors were, I'm guessing, open for a little while between taking the seats out and putting it back in and batteries got really weak until they died. Hopefully it's not dead and uh, we can get this thing fired up here, no problem. I let the fuel system cycle and you can kind of hear it behind the dash cycling because it's right up back there. Um, but we should be good to go. So let's, let's, let's just hope it's not dead. Perfect. Good to know the batteries are charged back up. We're gonna take the truck, we're gonna back it into the shop and we've got some new wheels and tires going on it today. So stay tuned guys, you guys are gonna like this one. Also, just a reminder here, this is your last day to enter to win this truck. Today, February 18th at 11.59 p.m. rolling into midnight is your last chance to enter to win this truck. So if you wanna win this truck, plus $5,000 cash, every $5 is 10 entries to win and you can take this thing home. Remember the transformation this thing went through. All new paint and body work, all new custom, Interior, let me put the key in there. Leather on the ceiling, leather wrapped sun visors, new wood grain on the dash that we did, new dash, new carpet, new head unit that'll flip out there when you turn the key, new speakers, I mean just everything. New bed liner, I did that as well. Beautiful truck, you guys don't have your chance to win it, this is your last chance. Now on for today's video, we have some new wheels and tires here for the 7.3. I'm not gonna waste any more time, I'm just gonna show you the wheels we're going with because you're gonna see them anyhow as soon as we start to do the install of the truck. There you go, they are the 22 by 12 Fuel Triton wheels. They have a negative, I believe a negative 44 offset on them. Why I went with a 22 by 12? Well, there's a lot of routes I was going to go with this truck. Part of me wanted to go, you know, do a, you know, four to six inch lift and do like 22 by 14. And the part of me thought, oh, well, go with like an 18 by 12 and then, you know, whatever. I took a vote and I got to stick to what I said. I told you guys, whoever got the most likes on their comment, you know, whichever wheel and tire setup got the most likes and the most comments on the video and on Instagram is the setup that we would go with. Of course, the most likes and the most comments were for the 22 by 12, so I said, okay, now black or chrome. Everybody said, go with a black or machined 22 by 12, and that, that was like the dominant comment. So if you're wondering why, don't blame me, okay? I just asked for the votes and I ordered what the people demanded. This is what everybody wanted, so I'm like, okay, shoot, let's do that, let's go with it. And uh, I think this is gonna be a really, a really good setup. Another thing to keep into consideration is this setup will clear on this truck more than likely without having to do any cutting, trimming, more lifting. It's already got a two and a half inch front lift. And like this truck, of course, is not the same truck, but this has a three inch front lift and it fits 35s and 22 by 14s, no rubbing at all, a 1550 wide tire. This is a 33 by 1250 on just a 12 wide, and it's gonna be on a two and a half inch leveling kit on the Ford. And a lot of guys are saying on a leveling kit with, you know, like stock offset, you can fit, you know, 35s. Of course, these aren't 35s, these are 33s, but since we're gonna go a little bit wider, we're, we can't go quite as tall. I'm hoping this clears no problem. Um, I don't think we'll have any issues. Worst case scenario, it might rub like a little bit when you're almost at full lock but I, I kind of think we should be good on this setup. So let's get to pulling your new truck out of here and getting the 7.3 pulled in here so we can get to doing this transformation. I'm kind of thinking I want to go get some diesel first though because I'm going to freeze in this shop. So real quick, let's skip ahead about 45 minutes and then we'll get back. So I had no idea this truck had front spacers on it. So I took them off and the reason I took them off is I feel like with these front spacers on, it's not gonna clear these wheels and tires and be as daily drivable as I would like them to be. Therefore, I'd rather have them off. And this kind of seemed a little bit odd to me. Um, why is this one stud cut shorter? I don't know why. That makes me feel like they had a problem with them um, not being super high quality as it is. And so therefore they had to shorten this stud and kind of like re-thread it. Um, because you can definitely tell it's like not cut, you know, not cut, not cut, not cut, not cut, not cut. And then this one's cut down. And the lug nut that I took off was hardly threaded on there. 
and I don't like that idea. So I'm gonna take the spacers off. They could be on the back because these kind of look like they're the same newer color um, threading. Uh, if that's the case, then I'm just gonna be taking them off because it looks like they put them on there to try to you know, keep the tires flush with the body lines um, because they didn't have any aftermarket wheels on it. However, I don't wanna do that to this truck. I want to be able to have the actual lugs um, mounted directly to the wheels. I don't wanna have a spacer stacked. But all I'm gonna say is it's nothing against you if you put those on and you're watching this. All I'm gonna say is I don't trust those types of spacers as much as I would like Bora hub centric spacers. It's just not, it's just not my thing. You see how this is flat and flush? There's nothing for the actual wheel lip to ride on. Therefore, all the weight is riding on the lugs. Okay, so that's why I don't trust them. Um, but anyways, so we're gonna get to installing this right here and uh, hopefully everything is good from there. But it does look really clean underneath um, very well and taken care of and very clean. <laughs> Okay everybody, so we did get the wheels and tires put on the old dinosaur, the old 7.3, and I gotta say it looks really good. Let me kind of just explain to you a couple aspects of this set. This is a 22 by 12, so it's essentially the same as like a 20 by 12, 18 by 12, wouldn't matter. This is the same offset by literally, you're talking like millimeters of difference, hardly any difference. Um, but this is what the offset is on no spacers. Flush with the body lines, it only has about two inches of tire poke, which is fine if you go to like a Dodge pickup. If the axle stick out just a little bit further for stance, I don't know, but all I'm gonna tell you is for a Dodge, a 12 wide is almost like 50% tire poke. Very different, but I do like this look on the truck. I know there's gonna be some people that are like, oh man, like it's not wide enough. And then we're gonna have people that are gonna say it's just perfect. It's not gonna throw stones all over the truck, which if you ask me, ordinarily I like super wide, but in this application, I like it just because the truck is so, so nice in terms of paint. I would hate to have something that does stick out like six inches and it's just throwing gravel all the way up to the roof of the truck. It's just not, it's not that cool when you're trying to keep a truck classy, but still in good condition. And I think this is gonna be just the right look. These are the Fuel Triton wheels and they're the Dirt Commander MT tires. And I've never ran them before. I don't know anything really about them. All I know is I talked to a couple of people and they said, yeah, they're actually a decent tire for the money. So I was like, okay, sweet, let's do that. So that's what I went with. You can see this side from the back angle. If you guys wanna see the back angle, everybody wants to see the back angle. It does look good. It's gonna look really good going down the road. The only thing that I gotta say I'm a little bit upset about now is I didn't realize the truck had wheel spacers on it that were two inch spacers. And ordinarily, I would think, like, that's pretty cool. Like, two inch spacers, that'd be fine. Like, I was gonna leave them. But I realized that they were the cheap ones, and so I took them off. Um, just because I, don't, I just don't like, they don't make me feel good. I don't have a good feeling about them, so I'm not gonna run them if I don't trust them. And the other thing is, too, this setup will completely clear front to back with no rubbing issues whatsoever. There's so much space. And part of me feels like I now could have gotten away with a 35 instead of a 33. But again, I didn't realize that there were wheel spacers on it and that's why it stuck out so much uh, in the first place to sit flush with the body lines because I should have known that we had a 7.3 and it did not sit with the body lines even before the fender flares on factory setup. It was tucked in a couple inches. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. Part of me is a little bit upset. I'm like, crap, should I buy 35s now? And then another part of me is like, it's gonna be fine. It'll ride nice, look nice and the offset's not gonna change really. It's just gonna give it a little bit more meat on the bone, so to speak, if I did get 35s for it instead. It will be nice to be able to have a truck that without a doubt you can walk it side to side and it's not going to 
rub anywhere and I kind of like the idea of that too. I was going to end the video out with just installing the wheels and tires, but I'm actually going to install some tail lights. We have a whole bunch of new parts here. You guys are going to have to stay tuned. Next video, this truck's getting total makeover, so stay tuned. Do not miss the next video. This truck's getting a whole bunch of stuff, so just stay tuned. Watch the next video. You're not going to want to miss it. It should be going up Thursday, I believe. It should be going up Thursday. If not, I don't know, but it should be going up Thursday. Don't miss the video, but let's get to installing the new tail lights on this truck. Check out these tail lights. Oh my goodness. I don't think it does proper justice in the daylight or through the camera lens because it makes them look almost like white. But they're definitely extremely bright red. I mean, these are, these are just awesome. I love them. I really do. Even the shape of the headlight, if you look, it really brings in like that modern look of like the 2013, 14, 15 you know, Super Duties where they're kind of like popping out away from the body lines just a little to kind of give them their own form. It looks really, really good. You can see what I'm talking about here. See how it kind of pokes out? It looks really good. It really ties in well with the lettering on the truck. It doesn't, again, it doesn't do it justice to the camera lens because it looks kind of like yellowish or whitish compared to this red. But in the flesh, in real life, one-on-one, -on -one, not looking through the lens or through the screen, these match very well. It actually looks really, really incredible. Quick recap on what we've done so far. We've got wheels and tires, new cab lights, we did new tail lights. We've done the third brake light. We've done our own leather interior to turn this thing into looking like an old school platinum or uh, actually, I, I like the way this truck looks more than the old platinums did because I know that in 01 they did actually make a platinum based on the comments I saw and I looked it up. I'm like, dang, I was wrong. They actually did make one. I just had never heard of one. Apparently they did. But I gotta say, I like this a lot more. I like the way the stitching is done more. I like the quality of this more than, you know, even my dad's lariat that he had. Like, it was nice, but it wasn't as nice as this. Not to mention his seat ripped. I think he bought it in 03, and it was in 02. And it was ripped across here by 07. I think it was just ripped to pieces. I mean, it just did not hold up very well. I know that everybody's gonna say it depends on how you care for stuff and you know, whatever else. They just rip so easy. And I know that a lot of vehicles, even though it's leather, it's not actual leather, but still, it's kind of like you own a vehicle like five years and it's ripped, it's just crazy. I got a lot of other stuff I gotta catch up on today, but let me know what you guys think of how this turned out with the tail lights, the wheels and tires today. Like there's just so much more happening. I still got to, we're doing all sorts of cool stuff with this truck yet. And I'm gonna show you in the next video, the big plan for this truck. That's gonna really change the look of this thing. And I've already kind of told you it's gonna look like a 6.0 up front, but I'm talking not just like a 6.0. It's gonna look a lot better. It's gonna be crazy. So stay tuned. Keep in touch with the channel. Please turn on post notifications. If you don't know what post notifications are, it's that little bell next to the subscribe button or on my main account page. It'll say this little bell, you click it, it say turn post notifications on. Please, please do that. Do that and also don't forget to like the videos. It might not seem like a big deal and some people just watch and they never like a video. But once I became a YouTuber and I realized how important likes and comments are, I started liking and commenting on lots of content that I watch that I actually enjoy. If I'm just like, eh, this is dumb, I don't really care, and I move along, then of course I don't like it or comment, and I just kind of move on to the next piece of content. But ever since I did become a YouTuber, if I like something, I leave a like and I leave a comment sometimes. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. One last little sneak peek at the second gen Longhorn because, because that giveaway is ending tonight, so this is your last chance to get in to win that truck. But check out this truck. And just remember, this is your last chance to enter to win it. And every $5 gets you 10 entries to win. And this truck could be yours. Go to lmpgear.com. It ends tonight at midnight.